Hello students, I am Chalma Reddy. Welcome to CR Maths class. Previous class we have completed concept about triangles, quadrilateral, area of triangle, area of quadrilateral. So in that concept I am going to discuss the problem here. 26th question. See the question. Three lines given. The three lines are formed which type of triangle so we need to find length of the sides of a triangle the ratio of length of the sides of a triangle formula what is that under root a1 square plus b1 square into debt a2 b2 a3 b3 ratio a to square plus b to square into debt a3 b3 a1 b1 ratio under root a3 square plus b3 square into determinant a1 b1 a2 b2 okay this ratio we need to find here observe that these are the values a1 means root 3 b1 1 next a2 means root 3 b2 minus 1 here now y is equal to 0 given y is equal to 0 means here a3 value 0 b3 value 1 these values substitute in that formula we get the answer okay under root a1 value root 3 a1 square means 3 a1 square means 3 b1 square that is 1 into a2 b2 a3 b3 a2 root 3 b2 minus 1 a3 0 b3 1 ratio under root a2 square 3 b2 square minus 1 whole square 1 0 1 root 3 1 ratio under root a3 square plus b3 square that means 0 plus 1 debt root 3 1 root 3 minus these are the ratio of lengths of the sides root 4 means how much students here 2 now apply that debt down means positive up means negative here we get root 3 minus 0 ratio root 4 means 2 0 minus root 3 ratio here 1 into minus root 3 minus root 3. here ratio should be positive not negative this is 2 root 3 ratio 2 root 3 ratio uh, minus root 3 minus root 3 that is 2 root 3 only now 2 root 3 see that the length of the sides of a triangle are equal ratio so 1 is to 1 is to 1 so all sides are having equal length all sides are having equal ratio these are equal ratio that means we will say that the triangle is equilateral triangle or right so finally, triangle is equilateral. First option, correct. The area of the triangle formed by the lines x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 and x sine 18 degrees, y cos 36 degrees plus 1 is equal to 0. If the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 
intersecting the coordinates then area of triangle delta is equal to this is the formula c square by 2 into mod ab the line is intersecting the coordinate this is a triangle area of triangle they are asking okay this is shortcut formula so by comparing both a value sin 18 degrees b value cos 36 degrees c value 1 what is sin 18 degrees students root 5 minus 1 by 4 cos 30 degrees root 5 plus 1 by 4 so area of triangle area of triangle what is shortcut formula c square c means 1 1 square divided by 2 into modulus root 5 minus 1 by 4 into root 5 plus 1 by 4. Now calculate this 1 by 2 into denominator observe that root 5 minus 1 into root 5 minus 1 a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square no 5 minus 1 divided by 4 fours are 16 or you can write 4 into 4 no problem 5 minus 1 4 4 cancel now remaining is 4 by 2 that is 2 2 square units okay students all of you understood if the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 intersecting the coordinate axis then area of triangle shortcut formula delta is equal to c square by 2 into mod ab so finally we got answer two units which option correct second option correct if a straight line perpendicular to 3x minus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0 form a triangle with the coordinate axis whose area is 6 square units then equation of straight line is here one straight line given that is 3x minus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0 this is the line now write the perpendicular line equation of perpendicular equation of perpendicular is how to write perpendicular line just interchange the x y coefficients we get 4x 3y plus some constant is equal to 0 in between x and y what we have to write the symbol here minus is there write the plus this is the equation of perpendicular perpendicular with respect to 3x minus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now this line is intersecting the coordinate axis. The area of the triangle is already given 6 square units. Okay. What is the area formula? C square by 2 into mod AB. This is shortcut formula now. Already we have done previous problem area here already given how many units six square units that is equal to c square k square by 2 into mod a b what is a students here 4 b means 3 so here a value is 4 b value is 3 and c value is k now uh, total how much, how much 144 is equal to k square then what is k k we can write plus or minus 12 okay now required straight line this is only now 4x plus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0 this is one line 4x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 two lines are possible where is another line i think here 
this is okay but by observing the options 4x plus 3y that is equal to 12 this is the correct answer which option correct students second option correct but uh, this is another case here 4x plus 3y that is equal to minus 12 this is also correct but they didn't give any in options okay so finally second option correct see the 29th question the equation of base of an equilateral triangle is x plus y is equal to 2 and vertex is 2 comma minus 1 then area of triangle here what they are given equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle this is a formula area is equal to p square by root 3 where p is height of the triangle okay now draw the triangle this is the triangle now which is a base this is a base x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 this is the vertex how much given 2 comma minus 1 this is height of the triangle height of the triangle that means p this is a perpendicular distance from point to the vertex yes or no now p is equal to what is perpendicular distance formula modulus ax1 that is 2 minus 1 minus 2 divided by under root a square plus b square what is the formula students mod ax1 plus by1 plus c by under root a square plus b square this is perpendicular distance from point to the line this is the formula so apply the formula you will get p value numerator see that minus 2 plus 2 cancel modulus of minus 1 1 1 by root 2 now area of triangle what is the formula p square by root 3 so 1 by root 3 into p value 1 by root 2 whole square now observe this 1 by 2 root 3 1 by 2 root 3 Let's see the options there is no 1 by 2 root 3, but observe this option numerator root 3 is there so do that multiplying and dividing with root 3 then what happens students numerator we get root 3 denominator root 3 into root 3 3 3 2 are 6 6 square units finally area of triangle how much root 3 by 6 which option correct second option in the quadrilateral formed by the lines here four lines given observe here 2x 2x minus 5y plus 7 is equal to 0 this is a line so this is another line 2x minus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0 these two lines are parallel parallel so here d1 d1 is distance between parallel lines what is the formula modulus c1 minus c2 by under root a square plus b square apply the formula c1 minus c2 divided by under root a square plus b square 4 plus minus 5 whole square 25 this is 5 divided by root 29 okay now go to the remaining two lines those are 5x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 5x plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0 these two lines are parallel 
parallel. Now, what is distance between parallel lines? D2. Formula we know that minus 1 minus 3 by under root 5 square 25, 2 square 4. Overall, see here 4 by root 29. So D1 is not equal to D2. Distance between the parallel lines not equal. So then we will say that the quadrilateral is either parallelogram or rect rectangle. In square and rhombus, distance between the parallel lines equal. Okay. Now, distance between the parallel lines not equal means we will say that either rectangle or parallel. But in rectangle, angle between adjacent sides 90 degrees. In parallelogram, angle between adjacent sides not 90 degrees. Adjacent side means take that any two lines. For suppose 2x minus 5y plus 7 is equal to 0. Another line, 5x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. These are the two adjacent sides. Okay, what is the angle between them? Angle between them. So first we, we need to verify A1, A2 plus B1, B2 not equal to 0 or equal to 0. A1 means 2. A2 means 5 minus 5 into 2. So see here, it is equal to 0. So angle between them how much? 90 degrees. So theta is equal to 90 degrees. Theta 90 degrees. Theta means angle between adjacent sides. Now draw the one diagram, then we will decide. This is the diagram. See here, this is for suppose uh, D1. This is D2. And angle between adjacent sides, 90 degrees. Finally, the quadrilateral is what? Rectangle. Yes or no? Distance between parallel lines not equal. And angle between adjacent sides is 90 degrees. The given quadrilateral is rectangle. First option, correct. Students, all of you understood now?